Are you eyeing up six-figure jobs in cybersecurity but wondering if it's really for you? Well, application security is one of the highest paying roles in security, but surprisingly, not everyone wants to do it. In this episode, we'll uncover the reality of working in application security, including what makes it challenging, but also highly rewarding. We'll cover what the role involves, the skills you'll need, and whether it's the right fit for you. Plus, I'll share insider tips and real world scenarios you won't want to miss out on. So whether you're just starting out or you're looking to specialize, this episode will provide a valuable insight on the reality of working in application security and cybersecurity. Hi there, I'm Nathan from Station X. With over 30 years of experience across various cybersecurity roles, I'm here to share my first-hand knowledge with you about application security. And be sure to stick around until the end for a special resource bonus, the Cybersecurity Career Mega Pack, which is designed to assist you on your journey in cybersecurity. This is the Cybersecurity Diaries, and today we're diving into the world of application security. So let's get started. Imagine being the defender who safeguards every line of code your organization produces. In application security, that's exactly what you do, but it's a lot more complex than most people realize. Your role isn't just about finding vulnerabilities in code, it's about being the bridge between security and development. You're balancing the pressure to release software quickly with the absolute need to keep it secure. This is where the unique challenges of application security come in. So what does your day actually look like? Well, one big part is reviewing and testing code for security flaws. And it's not just running automated tools. This is about understanding how each vulnerability could impact your specific organization. Let me give you a scenario. Imagine your team is about to deploy a major update and you spot a potential security vulnerability or risk. Now, you have to, one, assess the impact to the organization. Two, communicate the risk or the vulnerability to key stakeholders effectively, like the dev team, the management team. And you've got to work with the developers to find a fix without derailing that release. This is where the complexity of application security really hits home, finding that balance between security and release speed. And here's another real world scenario. Say you find a critical SQL injection vulnerability during a code review. The potential risk to user data is high, so you have to act quickly to get the devs to patch it before the release. And you're potentially saving thousands of users from a data breach and the impact to the organization could be financial, reputational, or others. Or maybe you're leading a training session, guiding developers on secure coding standards that you may have created, you may have written, so they can prevent these vulnerabilities in future as they do their dev work. In application security, you're not just securing code, you're mentoring, guiding, empowering others to build more secure applications. To succeed in application security, you'll need some specialized tools and skills. Your job is to make sure that the code that the dev teams write is safe from vulnerabilities before it goes live. You start with SAST, SAST, Static Application Security Testing, tools like SonarCube and Fortify. These scan the code base, looking for issues in the source code itself before it even runs. You can think of it like a spell checker for security flaws. Next, you can use DAST, D-A-S-T, or Dynamic Application Security Testing Tools like OWASP, ZAP, or Burp Suite, and others to test the application while it's actually running, simulating real-world attacks to catch anything that might slip through once the code is live. Then you move on to SCA, or Software Composition Analysis. Tools like Sync and Black Duck, Sync is spelled S-N-Y-K, Use those for scanning your third-party libraries to make sure your open source components that you're using, they don't have any hidden vulnerabilities in them as well. And finally, you have IAST, which is Interactive Application Security Testing. These are tools like Contrast Security and Vericode that work while your app is running, giving you a deeper understanding of how vulnerabilities might actually play out in the real world. Together, these tools give you a complete picture of your app's security from the code your developers write to the software libraries that you rely on and how the app behaves in the real world. You'll also need to be comfortable with programming languages like Java, 
Python, C++. Understanding code helps you spot and fix vulnerabilities yourself when needed. And of course, there's the OWASP Top 10, a list of the most crucial security risks in application security. Knowing these by heart is key to identifying potential vulnerabilities before they become real threats. And I have a question for you. Do you enjoy solving complex puzzles and diving deep into code? If you do, application security might be a good fit for you. Let me know in the comments. Now, success in application security isn't just about technical skills. You'll need soft skills too. Think about communication skills. They're crucial. You'll often need to explain security issues to non-technical staff in a way that they can understand. You've got to communicate with the dev teams as well. You're going to need problem solving abilities. They're a must, especially since you'll be tackling complex challenges and having an eye for detail is key. You'll need to spot subtle vulnerabilities that others might miss. Most people start in application security from a background in software development, or it can be from security. I have a friend who transitioned into AppSec from a non-developer, but cybersecurity background without any or very little coding experience and is now one of the top experts in application security in the field. So it shows that while uncommon, it is possible to enter the field with strong cybersecurity skills and learn the application security side along the way. But it is most common to come from a developer background to get into application security. You will see job titles such as application security specialist, dev sec ops engineer, security code auditor, or even security software developer and other titles such as that. So my question for you, what excites you most about application security? Let me know in the comments. All right, let's talk about DevSecOps, which I've just mentioned. Some people still think application security is just about testing code at the end of development, but the reality, it's evolved into something much more comprehensive. This is where we get the concept of shifting to the left. Instead of treating security as an afterthought, we're now building it in to every stage of development. It means integrating security checks right from the start, i.e the left or the start of the process of development. So we're talking about requirements gathering during coding through continuous integration all the way through to deployment. By catching vulnerabilities early, we not only save time and costs, but also create more secure applications that we're creating from the ground up with security baked in. It's all about making security a seamless part of the development process. DevSecOps, it represents a big shift in how we approach application security. It's not just about finding vulnerabilities anymore. It's about building security into every stage of development. And unlike traditional application security, DevSecOps is all about teamwork between development, security, and operations teams. And the goal to create secure, efficient, resilient systems from the ground up beyond application security skills. DevSecOps requires operational expertise as well. So like knowing infrastructure, automation, deployment, operations, monitoring, administration. Now we're getting towards the end. So I will talk about some of the trends, the big trends in application security. Adoption by forward thinking companies is happening with DevSecOps and application security. Organizations that take security seriously, including some of the biggest names and the influential companies particularly those in tech, are adopting secure by design. That's this shift to the left. This is application security. This is DevSecOps. This means integrating security throughout the developmental process, as we've said, rather than bolting on at the end. So companies like Amazon or AWS, Google, Microsoft, Netflix, just to name a few, are embracing DevSecOps in their workflows, making security a priority at every stage. And this trend is influencing the rest of the industry, setting new standards and encouraging other businesses to adopt similar practices. And DevSecOps integration, you know, security is becoming a seamless part of continuous integration and development pipelines within the dev world. So it's all about embedding security early, ensuring that it's not just an add-on, but a core part of the developmental lifecycle. And we have to mention AI and machine learning. AI is helping automate uh, code security analysis, this means you'll be able to detect vulnerabilities faster and more accurately, making it easier to keep up 
uh, with the pace of development while maintaining security standards. Let's break down what you can expect in terms of the skills that you need, the stress, the salary, etc. First off, technical complexity for this role. I will rate this a five out of five. You will need advanced technical expertise to handle this role. Soft skills requirements. I'm going to give this a four out of five because communicating across teams is essential. Experience level. Again, I'm going to give this a four out of five. This role is typically a senior level role. Now let's talk about salary because this is obviously a key factor. In the US, Canada, the salary range is usually between 128,000 to 195,000, that sort of area and more. It's essentially, it's well paid. In the UK, you're looking at around 70,000 pounds to 105,000 pounds and up. And in the EU, it's about 77,000 euros to 112,000 euros plus. You're being paid for your ability to protect critical business assets, navigate complex organizational dynamics and make tough decisions under pressure. And if you're working for a Fortune 500, a FTSE 100 company, whether it's in key industries that really need security like tech, finance, healthcare, defense, telecommunications, energy, you can see a 30 to 50% boost on top of that salary range. For ease of entry, I'm going to give it a two out of five. This is a competitive field, but there is still a high demand for people here. So there is a lot of roles looking for highly skilled people, but you can't get into those roles unless, of course, you are highly skilled because it requires those specialized skills. So there's a lot of opportunities there, but you need the skills. Stress level, I'm going to give it a four out of five. It's a high pressure role due to the critical nature of security and the need to make sure that software gets out there. Application security is a vital role in today's tech landscape. It's all about applications, really. And if you're up to the challenge, you'll make a real impact by protecting applications and the people who really rely on them. Application security and or DevSecOps is highly recommended for anyone with a development background who wants to take their career further or just has an interest in application security or applications, then this could be for you. All right, that wraps up our closer look at the reality of working in application security and DevSecOps. I hope it's been super helpful for you, painted a clearer picture for you. Hopefully then you can make better and more informed decisions. You know what to expect and whether it's the right path for you in cybersecurity. If you found this helpful, if you found anything from Station X helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for more insights on cybersecurity roles, skills, job search strategies. I'll be covering everything from resume tips to advanced technical skills. So do stay tuned and subscribe here. And if you're ready to dive deeper into your cybersecurity journey, check out the links in the description for more on Station X. Whether you need practical training or mentorship, our programs are here to support your success. And for a more detailed look at other career paths and also including application security, check out the Cybersecurity Career Mega Pack link that will be in the show notes below. This resource explores over 17 cybersecurity roles, helping you discover the area that might best align with your strengths and interests. What's your biggest question about application security? Drop it in the comments below and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next episode of Cybersecurity Diaries.